he looked at me crazy like, like he was ready to punch me or something. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Latrice Monet, and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> So as you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail, my bad if I'm talking like this, it's really quiet. But um, I'm going to be doing a story time of how I snuck my boyfriend in the house. So y'all, I mean, I did tell y'all I was going to tell y'all my private life, but I feel like I feel like this is awkward just talking about it even though it's old but before we get further into the video if you guys are new make sure you guys subscribe if you're not you already know what to do and yeah we're just gonna get straight into this video so i i'm not good with keeping up with dates months but i know this stuff happened last year and it originally happened around like march something i believe i don't know but i'm gonna say it was between march and april and so, um, like I said, I'm not good with keeping up with dates. Um, let's just say we was going on spring break and I believe it was on a Friday. And I just came from my cousin's house or whatever and... I asked him, can you come over? Because, you know, sometimes my dad, he he would work, like, literally overnight. Because he used to work somewhere. And, um, what's that called? I forgot what that airport, or, that airport, no, it's called over here or something. If you're from Chicago, you will know what I'm talking about. But he, he would work down there. And whenever he would work overnight, I would bring him over. So, this is technically not the first time that I snuck him over my dad's house and i was living with my dad around this time so yeah um i'm gonna just say this is the third time i snuck him over because the first time is that's really another story time i don't feel like going through everything but i'm just say this is the third time that he came over so the third time was when we got caught stupid so, um the third time i was coming from my cousin's house i believe and i got some food popeyes or whatever um and then after that i was just texting him and i guess he was with his uncle or whatever and i was like do you want to come over because it was literally spring break and we had like a weekend off and a week off and i wanted him to come over so i really my my dad knew that i had a boyfriend but it's like when he would leave, he would be like, don't let nobody in my house. Don't let nobody in my house. But it's literally like we was in a bad neighborhood. So it was like, um, I was kind of scared. And it was a lot of shooting around where I was at. Well, where the neighborhood was. And I was just by myself overnight. And I did not like that. So I asked him, can you come over? So he was with his uncle. And he asked his uncle, can you come over? I forgot who dropped him off. It was either his brother or his people's. I don't know who did that. But he came over. And this is the part where I got scared. Because, like, sometimes I I don't know my dad like that. So it's like, you know how when you bring people over your house, but it's like you don't know if it's a setup. You don't know if he's watching you. You don't know if he's, you know, there and then come back. So... While he was while he was there, which is my boyfriend, um, we was just chilling or whatever, just laying down watching TV, and um, I think it was two hours later. Two hours later, um, we over here laying down or whatever, and then we went to my room. So my room is like in the back. My room was all the way in the back. So, in the, in the back, we went, we just go say we went to my room. So, we went to my room, and then we was watching TV for a minute. And then he was like, we want to go into the other rooms. And I was like, always go with your first mind. Like, when I tell you, if you go with your second mind, that's not going to work. Always go with your first mind because I told him that I wanted to stay in my room. 
And the way my bed was, it's like he literally couldn't sleep under there. Even if we was about to get caught. I told him that, are you sure you want to go into the other room? He was like, yeah. So then we exchanged rooms. So me, I'm over here just shaking. Just shaking, just nervous. And next thing you know, I'm over here just chilling. We just talking. I heard the keys go through the door. So I'm like, I thought he was going to work. How is he back already? So then the bed, okay, so let's just say this. So I'm in a room, right? The bed is right here. The door is literally on the side, like in front of the bed. The door is on the side. So then I'm like, hurry up, hurry up, get on the floor, get on the floor. So it was like he was trying to go under the bed, but he couldn't go under the bed. So I'm like, dang. So how we go do this? And I always, like, when I tell you always go with your first mind, always go with your first mind. But it's like when I got up, because I did get up and open the door. And he was like, oh, I thought you brought somebody in my house. And I was like, no, you, you got to be tripping. But the way when I opened the door, he came from the back, from the back room. And I'm like, how did you come from that back room if you were supposed to come through the front? So it was kind of confusing because like, oh yeah, and I didn't tell y'all in the room that I was in, I had a door, like a back door. So, I mean, I had a back door. So he probably went through that, went through that way. But at the same time, like he was just, he just came in. But the thing is, not, the thing is like, Okay, I'm going to just tell y'all that. I'm going to just tell y'all that later. But um, after that, I closed the door back. So, my heart is beating fast. Literally, my heart is beating fast. So, he, I think he turned on the light or whatever. And then, um, he sat down for a second. And then, I guess he was banging on the door because I did lock the door. He was like, he was like, boom, 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 boom. Open his door. Open his door. Why you got the door locked? I'm over here, like, like, I'm shaking, like, I ain't never got caught like this before. So then I opened the door. He was like, open the door. Why is the door locked? And I was like, oh, my bad. I ain't mean to open the door. So then I had the door open for a little minute. And then I guess he was playing around or whatever or asking me questions. He was like, do you want to stay here or do you want to go to his girlfriend's house? Because... I told him I wanted to stay, so he was like, okay. So he sat down, and he had heroes that he was eating. I was like, why he couldn't eat this when he was somewhere else? Why he couldn't eat this at his girlfriend's house? Like, did he really just leave to go get some food all that time, bro? We could have been got caught if he got food. Because Harold is literally, like, down the street from the house. So it's like, it wouldn't take him that long to get food. So I'm like, dang, if, he, if my boyfriend came over, we could have been... We would have been got caught if he was on his way back, if you get what I'm saying. So, he's sitting down. I'm over here just trying to figure out how I'm going to get him out. No, he went to the bathroom. No, the first thing that he did was go to the bathroom. And I was trying to sneak him out to go in my room. But he would have heard the footsteps. And plus, his shoes was off. So, that really made it kind of obvious. So, I was trying to get him out the room. But he would have heard his footsteps, apparently. Cause it was so quiet like why you didn't have the the tv on or something but um after that he did sit down eat heroes like i said and then after he was done he was asking me questions about me going to his girlfriend's house and staying at home i told him i'm gonna stay at my, i'm gonna stay at home but mind you i'm in the other room and he was like why is the bed messed up fix the bed and i'm like okay so i'm over here fixing the bed but the thing is my boyfriend's still on the floor and he got the cover on him trying to still get under the bed so i'm like oh lord what am i gonna do like i'm over here just picking and choosing like do i want to actually you know take him out the room or just leave him there because there's no other way for him to go like i'm confused i'm i'm just so scared right now like i was so paranoid like, i did not know what to do like my heart was beating fast and so after that he left out the room so then he was just playing around or whatever and then um he came in the room so he was like where's your charger and i'm like dude <laughs> i i told him i don't know he said find the charger so i accidentally grabbed my boyfriend's charger and gave it to him he said this is not the charger and i'm like and then on the side i actually grabbed the charger and i gave it to him 
So then he charged his phone up. Me, I could have told him that my charger was in the car and I left it, but he would have been like, no, you had your charger with you. How would you leave it in the car? So I wouldn't, I wasn't trying to make it seem obvious because if I did say that, he would know that I actually had somebody in his house. So yeah. And after that, he got his charger or whatever. And a couple of minutes passed, he gave me my charger back. And he still asked, why, where is the cover? Why is the cover not on the bed? So then he literally went on the other side of the bed. And he was like, why is this window open? Mind you, we did not go through that window. That window been open for some reason. But the window already been open because he did not come through the window. He came through the door, the front door. And he was asking me questions. He said, why is this bed move? He was just asking a lot of questions. Y'all, so apparently the camera went off. But like I was saying was, he was just asking me questions about the bed, the window, the everything. So then that's when he was like, he was asking me to move because he knew the cover was over there. So I'm over here like, breathe, breathe, breathe. Next thing you know, he was like, move move let me get the cover move he pulled the cover out he looked at me crazy like like he was ready to punch me or something after that it's like the face that he made he was like get up man he was like get up man like he was about to punch him like literally so he got up he got his shoe and then i guess he grabbed his charger too and his phone and then he went out. So he was like, you really finna bring him up in my house? You really go bring, you know, he was just cursing, doing all types. So I said, chill. It's not even like that. Chill. I was telling him, chill. He said, what you mean you bring somebody in my house? He was just going off. Like, he was calling me. I'm, I'm an idiot. All this other stuff. And then me, I'm trying to find my phone. Because when I was looking under the bed, he was asking for my phone. Because I was going to get my phone taken. So he was asking for my phone. And I guess... My boyfriend, he went out the other, the back door. And then, um, I guess I was looking for my phone. Yeah, I was looking for my phone because he was asking me where my phone was. I went to the bathroom first because I had my phone the whole time. But after that, I couldn't find my phone. So he kept asking me to find my phone. And that whole time, I was blaming him for taking my phone. So I'm like, I can't find my phone. whole time it was under the bed and I put it in my pocket and I went to the bathroom and I was texting him while I was in the bathroom he was like hurry up you coming with me you not staying her you acting like this is some motel or something this is my house you're under my roof you're an idiot you so special you this and you that and I'm like you don't gotta say all of this stuff at all so then after that I'm still in the bathroom just stalling time just texting him and he was like he didn't have his shoe so I'm like so you really out there walking barefooted so then I went, I came out the room, still had my phone in my pocket. He just going off, hitting me everything. So then I'm like, don't touch me. Like, man, not supposed to touch a woman. So then I looked under the bed, his shoe was under the bed. So then he was like, where's that phone? And I said, I don't have it. He said, so that man, so that boy really stole your phone? I'm going a, I'm to a be his A if I find out he got his phone. If he found, if I found out he got your phone. So then I still had it in my pocket. So then... Next thing you know, I'm getting my stuff ready because I'm about to leave. So we can go to his girlfriend house or whatever. So I packed my stuff and I left. Well, we was leaving out the door, basically. So um, I still had his shoe in his hand, in my hand, not his hand. He was somewhere. He said he was somewhere on the other block or something. But he did see us. But um, I was walking down the stairs trying to go to the car. He kept calling me all types of names on the phone with his girlfriend and stuff. So I'm like, just shut up. Because you act like you didn't do this when you was little too. So then I got in the car. And he said, I'm going to find that phone. And he over here saying, um, where's that phone? Like, just keep asking me questions. Like, I'm telling him I don't have it. So then... Meanwhile, we on his way to his house. His house is all the way in the suburbs. So we drove all the way there. My dad got a whole headache in the car, almost crashed over here rushing to the house. So we made it to his house, right? I still got his shoe and I still got my phone. So I guess his phone died or whatever. He was still walking barefooted with one shoe. And um, we made it to his house and my dad called the police. So, once they called the police, I guess they was talking or whatever. So, I came to the door and somebody opened the door, which was his people's. 
And so when I went inside, his people was drunk or whatever, whatever parents be doing. But I set his his shoe down and his mama was asking me, he was like, where is Lil Dash at? Because that's his name. That's a nickname. That's his nickname. But she was like, where Lil Dash at? I was like, he was with his uncle or whatever. And um, his uncle was literally on the side of me. So I'm like, if he was with his uncle, who was he with then? Because... He just said that he was with his uncle, so how was he, how was his uncle here? So, after that, his brother was there, and I was asking him, can he call my boyfriend? He wasn't answering his phone, so I'm like, oh, Lord, what I'm going to do? So, then my dad came in, and then I guess he told them about it, and then they started going off on me. Mind you, I told you they was drunk, so they, they were just saying anything at that point, and... She was, he was like, don't bring nobody in my house, this and that. Well, no, my dad said that. He was like, don't bring nobody in my house without my permission, this and that. So then that's when we left on our way to his girlfriend's house. And then we made it to his girlfriend's house. He's still going off. And then I guess we went to sleep the next morning. Wait, no, we were still in the car. We was on our way to his girlfriend's house. I'm over here skipping parts, my bad. And then I guess his neighbor called him and he was like, yeah, I almost put a gun to his head and stuff like that for walking on my, my property and this and that. He was like, see what you getting your boyfriend into? You see what you getting him into? He almost got killed. He almost got killed because he was, I'm like, you, is he cute? No, but at the same time, it's like, it is my fault, but he kept blaming, well, my boyfriend kept blaming, like, it's his fault, but he was trying to be there, like, if I'm home by myself and nobody's there, he was trying to protect me because it's a lot of shootings everywhere. So it was like, I understand that it's your house or whatever, but like, I understand that was disrespectful because I didn't ask him to come over and I just did that just to do that. So, I mean, I am in the wrong, but at the same time, he called my dad while he was in the car. And then after that, that's what he told me. I got even more scared because I thought he got shot. And I was crying in the car, too. And then, after that, um, we made it to his girlfriend's house. And I, I just went to sleep. He kept going off, and I just went to sleep. And then, I guess the next morning, he was like, I'm finna go off on her. I'm finna go off on her. I knew she had that phone. My, my freaking location was on my dumb self. But even if I did have my location on, he would still know that I had my phone. Because when we was there trying to look for the phone, I had my phone the whole time while we was traveling to his house to traveling to his girlfriend's house. So, I had my phone the whole time. It was capping about me not having my phone. And he had it the whole time just so I can go to his mom's house. But really, I wanted to stay there. I didn't want to go nowhere because he was doing too much. And he did not have to do all of that. But, um... He he literally took my phone for two nights. And then I guess the next morning, that same day, his girlfriend took me to get fresh air to pick her daughters up and stuff with her kids up. And then we got something to eat. And I think that same day, he made me take a pregnancy test when I was on my period. I'm like, you cannot get pregnant when you're on your period. Are you dumb? Like, you don't know anything about females. He told me to take it just to take it so i took it and it said negative so that would that didn't even make sense for real so um i think two nights after that he gave me my phone back when we was about to go home and this boy and this man's stupid bro he go when i get my phone back my um my boyfriend was just posting me saying that he missed me and stuff and when I was looking at the messages, he was just going off on him saying, I don't want you around my daughter and this and that. You was being disrespectful. I'm like, bro, what? What are you talking about? Like, why are you saying all of that in the messages? Talking about something. He, he going to kill people and this and that. Like, you don't even know anything about him. So why is you? You know of him, but you know, you don't know anything about him. So once he did give me my phone, my dad is so slow. We over here. Um, I think he picked my brothers up. Yeah, he did pick my brothers up. We stopped at Burger King to get something to eat. And I guess my brothers came over. This man is so stupid. He gonna leave me in the house again and say, don't bring nobody in my house. And I'm like, he's talking about some. he had cameras. You did not have cameras in your house. Not once I was there, like, at all. You never had cameras in your house. Because if you did, you would have been, your neighbors just been talking. He, they just been talking while, you know, 
And it's just like this man been lying, just doing all types of stuff. But yeah, after that, my brothers came over and I guess I called my boyfriend back. And he was telling me how did he get home. So I guess before his phone died, his um he asked his sister, can you get an Uber? And I guess he made it there. But his mama was, he she had my sad anyway. She was just saying that, oh, you could have really stayed over here and stuff like that. But that's what really happened. I didn't really get in trouble. I ain't, I just know I just got hit in the head. That's the only thing that I did. I didn't really get in trouble because he only took my phone for two nights. That was it. And, yeah, it really wasn't a big deal that much. But, like, that whole situation, because, like, his neighbors, some people that I didn't even know was stalking me, like, just stalking my every move, just telling my dad what's going on. Like, just, that's just weird. Like, you got people that I don't know. When they grown, they're men, they're grown. And you got them watching me. Like, that is weird. That is so weird. You don't know what they could do to me. But that was really the story time about me sneaking my boyfriend in. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Mmm... I hope I can do more story times if I do have more story times. But I hope I pretty much said what I said in the story time. I hope I said what I said or whatever. But if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If so, if you're new, make sure I subscribe. If you're not, you already know what to do. And we just go in this video off right here.